Kiai! Hi, I'm Sensei Alexis. Welcome to Karate! <laughs> How are we doing? Pandas? Or Scooby Doo? Oh, Which one? You get rid of the pandas? No pandas? You pick Scooby Doo? <laughs> What it is now? My eyeball! That was a bad idea. I touched the onion. No. <laughs> Yay! Hi! I'm Sensei Alexis, and welcome to Karate Chat. Today on the show, we are going to be making a delicious recipe. Taco stuffed portobello mushrooms. They already sound delicious. Mushrooms are very versatile and can be used in place of a taco shell. It lowers the calories and they're also delicious. I think it's time to dive into tonight's ingredients. Let's get chopping. Kia! Four large portobello mushroom caps. Kia! One pound of ground beef. You can substitute the ground beef for a different kind of protein if you want to fill up your tacos with a different kind of meat. Yeah. Two tablespoons of chopped onion. Yeah. Now this onion is chopped. It smells great. Yeah. A quarter of a cup of diced poblano pepper. Yeah. That poblano looks chopped. Yeah. One clove of garlic minced. Yeah. It smells amazing now because it's minced. Kia! One teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder. Kia! Half a teaspoon of dried parsley. Kia! A quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground pepper. Kia! One 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. Kia! Four ounces of reduced fat shredded cheese. That's all our recipe ingredients, so let's get chopping. Okay, now that we've gone over all the ingredients to the recipe, and by the way, if you've ever made taco salad, this is basically that recipe just in a different casing, so you can totally do this. But we're gonna go over the steps to our recipe. Step number one, prepare the mushrooms for the broiler. We wanna cook them ahead of time, so that way they get a little bit soft, so when we add our ingredients to it and boil the cheese down, everything has a delicious texture and an awesome flavor. So let's get chopping. All right, so now we've got our cutting board and a small knife and a spoon. When we're preparing the mushrooms, we need to remove the stem and the gills because apparently, who knew this? Mushrooms are a fish? Maybe, sure. So you could call them gills, you could call them scales, but we're gonna take these parts out. <laughs> so we're going to carefully use our knife to get the stem out of the center. All the way around, there we go. And now we're gonna switch to a spoon to get the gills out. When we're removing the gills, we wanna preserve as much of that high edge of the mushroom as we can. So that, that way our mushroom is basically a little taco bowl. And you can see the gills come out pretty easily. So it doesn't take very much pressure. You don't wanna to push too much because we don't wanna remove the actual mushroom. So let's do this for all four of our delicious taco boats, AKA portobello mushrooms. Yeah. All right, our mushrooms have been scooped out. Next thing we need to do to prepare these for the broiler is to add a little bit of olive oil to each one. So the best way to do that is to pour a tiny bit into your hand and then just onto your fingers. So it's gonna be just the littlest bit. And that's enough. And it doesn't take much, but if you pour it into the mushroom and then try to smear it around, wow, these ones actually just sucked it right up. They love olive oil. If you pour it inside the mushroom and then smear it around, you end up with a big pool of it right in the middle. So putting it on your fingers first helps to get it evenly distributed all the way around. There we 
go around the outside edge. And we're going to do that for all four of the mushrooms to get them ready for the broiler. So let's get these ready to go. Yeah. All right. Our mushrooms are now fully lathered in olive oil. They are deliciously protected and ready to get even more delicious. And what we're going to do is stick these under the broiler for about four to six minutes till they get tender. While we're doing that, we're going to head over and start cooking our ingredients to go in the taco boats. So time to multitask. Let's get chopping. Yeah. All right. So getting onto our cooked ingredients, we're going to turn the pan on to a medium high heat and just give it a quick spray of oil so that the onions don't scorch. And we want to put the onions in first. So in they go. Gi! Oh, too aggressive with the gi. Onions everywhere. Okay, I think we got most. All right. We're going to use our red spatula to add the last of those onions in there. All right, we're going to have these sit in the pan until they start to get a little bit golden. And we're looking for them to also begin to get a little bit translucent. You can already hear the sizzle. I'm going to be delicious. That's what they're saying. Let's ninja time this. Yeah. Shush. Timer off. Oof. All right. Steam coming out of there. Grab our safety devices. And take the look. Oh my goodness. Wow. You can smell these right now. Look at that. Oh man. Super tasty looking. All right. We're going to let the mushrooms rest while we continue cooking the rest of our ingredients. Now that our mushrooms are free and thinking about their choices of becoming so delicious, we're going to add in the garlic. So let's do it a little less aggressively this time. Okay, yeah. There we go. That was better. Not as exciting, but better. We actually kept it all in the pan that time. All right. The garlic, same sort of thing as the onion. We want it to get a little bit brown, a little bit golden brown before we add any of the other ingredients. And this is just going to provide an extra burst of flavor. And you can, oh man, if you could smell this right now, smell of cooking garlic, onions. So hungry, we should get it right now, but we can't. We gotta cook. So let's ninja time it. Kia! All right, ninja time through it. Our onions are cooked, our garlic is cooked, so now it's time to add the meat. We're going to carefully ki our giant pound of meat in, carefully ki. Oh, it was a cautious ki, but it works. All right. And with that, we are going to simultaneously add in the peppers. Ki. So now we're going to chop it up. All right, you can hear the sizzle. We're going to continue to cook it, continue to chop it up a little bit more, and then that way we're going to let it sit, get brown, get delicious, come together, and then we'll be back after this ninja time with the seasonings. Yeah! You can hear the nice sizzle on there. That means it's browning up on the bottom, which is our tasty bits. Resist the temptation to stir until you hear the sizzle. It's so hard, but it's worth it. Let's give it a stir. Oh, you can see it right there. Look at all that. Yum! You can also see as we mix it around, our peppers have not gotten too brown. And the reason that we didn't want them to do that in addition to turning into mush is peppers, when they get too brown, get a very sharp flavor. And it's not as enjoyable. So we want to have the flavor of the pepper, but not the bitterness. Next step in our recipe is going to be to add the seasonings and the tomatoes. So we're going to turn this heat down. 
because we do not want to boil our tomatoes. Same thing happens with tomatoes that does with the peppers. If you heat them up too much, they just get bitter. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to add in. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to keep eye on the tomatoes. We're just going to add them in. Plop. All right, these are going to simmer together, but they need to have some friends. So let's add those friends in there. Here comes the parsley. Yeah! Our awesome yin yang salt and pepper. Thank you, Sensei Bernadette, for decorating it so beautifully. Yeah! And lastly, our cumin and chili pepper. Yeah! Get all in there. We're going to let these simmer together for about 10 minutes. And then we get to add them in to our giant portobello mushroom boats, top them with cheese and then broil them down for a delicious dinner. So let's ninja time it. Yeah! So this has come together beautifully. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add this to our amazing mushrooms and combine them to make a taco boat. So we're gonna ninja time this as we fill them up. Ready? Yeah! Okay. So we've split up the ingredients in between all of the mushrooms, and now we just have to top them with this delicious cheese. Um, there's a note of sadness about this cheese. I just found out I'm allergic to dairy, which means one of these is going to be lacking the cheese. But, Maybe my allergy symptoms will go away because I'm not going to eat it. So there's a bright side to every story, even though we don't get to eat the cheese. All right, let's add the cheese. Yeah, looking amazing. Let's slide these back in the oven so that they can broil down. Just melt on top, like two to three minutes tops. It's not going to take very long. Put the spatula down. Good job today, spatula. You're not broken. Yeah. All right, in they go. Like two more minutes, guys. Kia. I think they're done. Let's take them out. Oh yeah. Listen to the sizzle of the cheese. Wow. Look at the amazingness. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Evan. Good job. They look amazing. And basically, taco salad in a mushroom instead of a taco shell. So it cuts down on the calories and it adds a tremendous amount of flavor to it. These look so good. I cannot wait to dig into them. Okay, we're going to wait for this to cool so that we can plate it up and then we'll be back in just a few Ninja seconds. Yeah. So plenty of flavor packed in there, all kinds of seasonings and spices. If you want to go rogue and add a little bit more of your favorite taco seasoning, you can totally do that. That's what cooking is all about, taking your framework and building from there. And mushrooms are super versatile. So not only did we just make a taco shell out of a mushroom, but we can also make a pizza out of a mushroom. If you're interested in that recipe, let us know. Looking forward to cooking with you again next week on the next edition of Karate Chucked. Yeah, dude.
tables. <laughs> now that we've gone over our ingredients, let's get cooking. So, I don't know why I did that. That was really weird. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Nothing to chop right now. Okay. Mm. They kick like flat. Or not. I don't know. Maybe I should try it with a bean. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? fish words in the brain. I didn't say fins. <laughs> I ran out of that fish word. Next in our recipe, step whatever we're on. I think this is still part of step one. <laughs> Working on balance, control, and getting clean at the same time. Oh man, this spatula is great. Imagine if we use the other spatula in this. Aw. R.I.P. old spatula. A good job, new spatula! Rawr! Okay, I'm bitter about the cheese. 